The silence around the temple is almost eerie, and the fallen blocks and thickened tree roots tell the tale of an empire long since lost to time and nature. This is Bante Chumar. But the temple known as Cambodia's second Angkor Wat is slowly coming back to life. This doorway, is it now in the correct position? Bante Chumar is architect John Sande's latest project after more than 40 years working on historic monuments. His team of 50 local workers have set out to map and log the thousands of stones before repairing and, where possible, re-erecting them in their original position. You begin to understand the sheer size and complexity of the task ahead when you learn that engineers have been working for three years on this 20 metre section alone and there's still another year of work to go. Site manager Nyok Lo runs the day-to-day -day project. So let's say on one tower, part of an ear or face has fallen down. We dismantle it and try to find the broken part of the stone, and then we try to reassemble it back to the way it looked. A separate team is scanning individual stones in 3D, so eventually they can rebuild sections on computer before doing it in reality, a project that's become known as John's Puzzle. The detailed bas-relief or stone carvings that adorn the temple are rarely seen elsewhere in Cambodia. Most, though, have been stolen or damaged beyond repair. A huge section of this wall showing a Buddhist deity was hacked away by looters in the late 90s. Other bas-relief depict tales of fierce battles, probably on Tonle Sap Lake. This um, has often been likened to the bio-tapestry because it's an essential record of history at that particular time. With tourism earning Cambodia 10% of its GDP, the eventual goal is to make Bante Chumar a top visitor destination like its famous sister, Angkor Wat. The Global Heritage Fund has invested $850,000 in the project so far, but Sande says restoration and conservation on a complex this size can never be complete. Stephanie Scowan, Al Jazeera, Bante Chamar, Cambodia.